Hello everyone, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos. Uh, as always, we're starting today's video with a disclaimer because I feel like I have to start every single video with a disclaimer. Not that I have to start every single video with a disclaimer, but like I have something to disclaim at the start of every single video for some reason. Uh, today's disclaimer is um, I have had really fucking bad hay fever all day. And um, yeah, if I sound like congested and nasally and overall just miserable, it's because um, I am. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what hay fever is, I'm pretty sure I've like spoken about this in past videos uh, because it's something that I suffer with frequently. Uh, but it's it's like spring allergies. It's the allergy to pollen and all the shit in the air in uh, spring and summertime. I suffer with it very, very badly. And um, uh huh, today and yesterday have been absolutely terrible for it. I don't know what it is about today and yesterday that have been so bad for my hay fever, but yeah, it's been absolutely terrible. Uh, mostly I've got the itchy eyes at the moment, but I have been congested all day. So if I sound gross, that's why, yeah. <laughs> My voice might just be like a few octaves deeper than you might be used to. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're building another family home today because um, surprise, surprise, I'm a little bit obsessed with doing family homes at the moment, even if they're not that big like this one. This is actually a very small family home. Uh, I've called it small but growing family home. Um, well, I mean, oh my God, does that title even make sense? Okay, it made sense when I like named the house and when I exported it and everything. But like now that I've said it out loud, I don't really know if that makes sense. I kind of designed it for a family who have like got a small family, but like intend on growing their family further. This house is supposed to be sort of like a stepping stone, right? So like you have your Sim, they have their first baby. They move into this house when they have their first baby. When their baby becomes a child, they move into the second bedroom. They have their other baby. And that's all the room that they have in this house. And then like eventually they're going to move into a bigger family home. But this is like their stepping stone. Do you know what I mean? It's a home for expanding families. And that's why I named it the way that I did. But I could have just left it at small family home. But that's not very creative. So yeah, small but growing <laughs> in brackets because, um, yep. <laughs> uh, anyway, actually, I don't even know if I can have brackets in my titles. I don't know how YouTube works anymore. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But yeah, I built this house in one day. Mm -hmm. That's very rare for me. <laughs> and I literally built it today. So it's not often that I will build a house, uh, build the shell, do the landscaping, do the interior, finish the entire thing, and then like finish the entire video in one day. But I've done that today, mostly because I really wanted to upload this video tomorrow. And also just because I really felt like building, so... That's what we did. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love it so much. Uh, yeah, it's a three bedroom family home. The master bedroom is downstairs and upstairs there are bedrooms for, it's, there's like one and a half bedrooms upstairs. There's like a kid's bedroom and also a nursery, but the nursery is really, really tiny. Like it's a three by three room uh, for the nursery. And yeah, the kid's bedroom is actually pretty tiny as well, so. Yeah, this is definitely not somewhere your Sims would want to stay permanently, but it's like a nice little stepping stone. You know, maybe they're just hopping onto the property ladder or whatever. I don't know. It, it works. <laughs> Will I end up using this house for the Coopers? Probably. Because, um, yeah, I have been playing with the Coopers a little bit more. Not so much last week, but I intend to play with the Coopers a lot more. And I'm sure I will end up using this house. Um, But yeah. I... <sighs> What else do I have to say about this house? It only has one bathroom, unfortunately, which is downstairs. So, um, yeah, the kid slash teen in the upstairs room is going to have to come all the way downstairs to use the bathroom. But that's not a big deal because that's what I have to do. <laughs> the way my parents' house is laid out is like downstairs is two bedrooms, a lounge, a kitchen, dining area, and then the toilet and bathroom. And upstairs is literally just my bedroom and then my office and there's nothing else. So I have to go downstairs to use the bathroom. So to the Sims that live in this house, it's not a big deal. It's fine. 
Uh, but yeah, it's also quite crammed, this house. Also, if you can like hear my hands rubbing against my skin, I'm so sorry. I'm really trying not to rub my eyes because I know as soon as I do that, it's just going to be an absolute disaster and my eyes will go bloodshot red. I will have some fucking like jelly looking shit in my eye. It's going to be bad. Ugh, I'm trying to resist it. But anyway, uh, yeah, quite crammed, this home. But I kind of like that about it. <laughs> if you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I tend to lean more towards crammed spaces. And yeah, that's uh, that's what I've done with this house because I don't know, it's just, it's small. And what else am I going to do with the space other than like fill it to the brim with furniture? <laughs> You think I'm going to leave room for your Sims to move around in? No, of course not. You probably can't even like teach your kids to walk in this house. There's probably no room. Like not even kidding. <laughs> uh, they'll just go outside in the backyard that I didn't furnish because I hate decorating backyards. And uh, I decided a few house builds ago that I am no longer going to engage in things that don't make me happy. And decorating backyards doesn't make me happy. So I've been leaving them all blank for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry to anybody that bothers, by the way. I just, I I really hate doing backyards and I don't want to do them. So I'm not doing them. Um, You have complete free reign of the backyard. I do fence it off for you, but everything else, your Sims have to hire a landscaper and that landscaper has to be you. I'm so sorry, bestie. I will not do it. Um, Yeah, I feel like I was saying something and then I got distracted by the fact that I didn't decorate the backyard. Um... Uh, uh. yeah it's crammed your sims don't have a lot of room to move but that is what i like about my houses <laughs> uh, i just i don't know i hate empty spaces in houses i think they look just i don't know they look odd to me if there's not like something there it just feels naked and wrong i love just filling everything up and it's a loud car driving past my house right now. I'm very sorry if you heard that. Anyway, yeah. Um, also, slight problem. Thought I had another week before Christmas. Um, if I'd known that this was the last like Monday for me, Sunday for most of you. If I'd known that this was the last one before Christmas, I would have done a Christmas build today. But honestly thought we had another week. <laughs> uh and plus I don't know I'm just I'm really not that into Christmas this year like I used to be such a Christmassy person but I don't know I feel like I mean these past couple of Christmases have just not been the same because of COVID and all of that I don't know we've been in a pandemic it's just hard to feel festive in a pandemic as it is uh last year was the first Christmas without my uncle uh I don't know if I've spoken about this in my YouTube videos I'm sure I have at some point but I lost one of my uncles last year who was very dear to me uh we lost him in September 2020 and last Christmas was the first Christmas without him so there was everything that came with that it was also the first Christmas with my niece my niece was born in March of 2020 and it was our first Christmas with her so there was like everything that came with that and like not really knowing how to feel it's like you know, you've got this like immense sadness because it's your first Christmas without a loved one, but you've also got this like overwhelming joy because it's your first Christmas with another loved one. And then like trying to figure out like, like how am I supposed to juggle both of these emotions at the same time? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, so we had that last year. Um, this year, I just, I, I think because last year I had such a weird Christmas I think I'm just gonna have weird Christmases from now on to be honest with you uh I don't think they're ever really gonna feel the same as they once did um but not necessarily because of my uncle's passing and not necessarily because of COVID I actually think I've been like falling out of the Christmas spirit a little more ever since um ever since I quit my old shitty retail job I think the last Christmas where I really felt Christmassy was like Christmas 2017 and I've since realized that that was the last Christmas that I worked at my shitty supermarket job I think just like being around all the like busy people at this time of the year and like hearing the Christmas music in the supermarket and like 
you know, seeing everybody fill their trolleys up with all the food that they're going to be having for Christmas. I feel like that was what put me in the Christmas spirit the most, which is weird, but I think true. And then like I quit my job in, was it June or July of 2018? I think it was July or June. I don't know. It was mid of 2018. I quit my retail job and 2018 was my first Christmas uh, working for myself. And I was actually, no, I think I was pretty festive in 2018 because like I was still carrying, you know, I don't know. It was my first Christmas like being self-employed. So I don't know. That was exciting. Uh, so I had my office all done up, uh, Christmas decorations everywhere. I had a Christmas tree up. Everything was like all pretty. I decorated my tree with my mum. It was cute. And yeah, I felt festive 2018. Okay, so... Christmas 2017 wasn't the last time I was on the Christmas spirit. Christmas 2018 was. Uh, 2019 rolled around. Don't think I decorated my office for Christmas that year just because I didn't really feel like it. Because, I don't know, it just... <sighs> everything is the same to me, you know? I'm self-employed, so, like, I'm always at home anyway. And one of the, like, previously really exciting things about Christmas was that, like, I got to have time off over the holiday period. I, I don't get time off over the holiday period because I work for myself, therefore I don't get paid to take time off over the holiday period. B, I have no desire to take time off my job because I enjoy it so much and I'm just like always home. So I don't know, I feel like Christmas doesn't really feel like any different time of the year to me. Does that make sense? I don't really know if I'm making any sense. Long story short, um, I haven't been in the Christmas spirit this year and that's probably why I thought we had another week, but we actually don't. <laughs> we actually do not. Although one thing that I am so excited for about um, this month and actually specifically tonight, uh, it's the full moon tonight. So guess who's got a lot of journaling to do after she finishes this video? Guess who's got a lot of meditating to do? Some incense sticks to burn. We're going to do all of that, okay? I very much like the full moon. Uh, Got to charge my crystals, all that good stuff. Uh, going to write everything that I'm going to release. Going to burn it, set it on fire. It's going to feel good. I'm going to wake up feeling refreshed. I'm excited. It's still light outside when I'm recording this though, so... You know what? Actually, it'll probably... Ugh, it'll still be light by the time I fall asleep. I'm in daylight savings time at the moment, so it doesn't get dark until like 10 p.m., and I'm tired and it's 8 p.m. So I'm probably not even going to really get to experience the full moon, which kind of sucks. Maybe I'll make myself wake up <laughs> just so I can sit outside and bask in it for a little bit. I don't know. Um, But yeah, let me know if y'all have any like rituals or anything that you do during the full moon. I'm not like, I wouldn't say this is a ritual. It's just something that I like to do during full moons. I like meditating. I like journaling. I like writing out everything that I want to release and setting it on fire. Um, I just like to do that during the full moon. It's not necessarily like a full moon ritual per se. I don't have any rituals. I don't consider myself like a witchy person. I just enjoy, you know, spirituality and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, if you have any like routines or rituals that you partake in during the full moon you should let me know because I am definitely interested in that um but yeah that's happening tonight and by the time this video goes up the full moon is already over so if you forgot about it sorry <laughs> you just missed it but um there's always next month which is 2022 I can't believe we're almost in 2022 that is actually disgusting um yeah hoping for a better 2022 okay 2021 was pretty rough um I would argue that 2021 might have actually been worse than 2020 which is saying something because I had a really bad 2020 like I completely crashed in 2020 thought I was at my lowest point uh then 2021 came along and then I think I went a little bit lower and um yeah really didn't think that was possible then it happened but things feel like they're turning around for me now so I think 2022 2020 that's a lot of twos like a lot of twi that's a lot of twi uh 2022 
I genuinely do believe is going to be a lot better for me personally than the last two years. Uh, can't say how it's going to be regarding the whole pandemic thing. Um, for some reason, people seem to be under the impression that the pandemic is over. Um, <laughs> don't think so, actually. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I haven't heard like anybody around me say that, but I've seen on Twitter people have been saying like, oh, we're post COVID. Oh my God, we made it through a pandemic. No, we fucking didn't. <laughs> we're still in it, bitch. Um, yeah, can't see the pandemic going away, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully we don't go into a lockdown again next year because the lockdowns really throw me. Uh, yeah, we went into like a four week or maybe it was three weeks. We went into a level four lockdown at some point this year that was announced after my birthday. Actually, it was announced on the day of my birthday. I went out to dinner for my birthday, checked my phone while I was at the dinner table. What did I see? Uh, New Zealand's going into a nationwide lockdown as of um, midnight tonight. Happy fucking birthday to me. Okay, I'm going to be stuck in my house for the next God knows how long. Thankfully, it was only a few weeks. Um, but yeah, that, I would like to not go through that again, if that's okay. Universe, please. <laughs> I feel like I can't even complain, though, because New Zealand has genuinely had it so much better than so many other people in the world. I'm very, very aware of that, and I'm very, very grateful um, for that, but oh, would still like to avoid a cheeky little lockdown, okay? If we can just not have those, that would be great. If my mental health could stay on the incline like it is at the moment, that would be great. Um, yeah, I have a good feeling about 2022, but I think I have another video that I can make before 2022, so I'll talk more about how shit this year was um, in that video. Anyway, we're just about finished with the build and are getting ready to jump into some screenshots. So I'm going to leave you right here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. This is not my outro. I lost my outro. I don't know how to say it. My eyes are itchy. Um, the download link to this house is in the description if you're interested in putting this in your own game. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you a lot. And of course, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.